Fui chevalho hexa, chalpa Faltigi a legend shaw a reach Augusta Ahas and Don Arin of a Arash a reach in in a Dunkern a Duisgard Val first year. My name is Connor Caldwell and it's my great privilege to welcome you all back to our beautiful venue here in the Dunkern Centre, right in the heart of North Belfast. We're introducing to you this evening a fledgling partnership between ourselves and our wider team at the Dunkern and the Carlingford Heritage Centre down in County Louth. Of course, the creative sector is all about people and community, and we feel that this shared focus is something that's going to help us to drive this project forward over the coming weeks. Now, ordinarily, the stars of tonight's performance, Zoe Conway and John McIntyre, would be putting together their own summer series of concerts down there in Carlingford. For very obvious reasons, that's not happening. So we thought we would combine forces and present something fresh and exciting towards the end of this summer. Now, we know it's not going to be quite the same without you in person here in the centre, but we hope that this collaborative project will fill that gig-shaped void in your life, and we hope that you enjoy the presentation of music this evening. So now I'm going to hand over to Zoe Conway, who's going to guide you through the performances. Hi everyone, we're coming to you here from Carlingford Heritage Centre. Um, some of you may know that we run a series of concerts here every year for the past 10 years. And this year, due to COVID-19, we still wanted to bring you some music for our 11th year. So we've invited some of our best friends to come along and play some music for you. Starting with two of my favourite musicians, we've got Yue Tang, Irish-American Chinese uh, cellist, who's going to bring us some wonderful music from Dublin. And we've also got Brian Connor in on piano from Belfast. So they're going to start off with some beautiful Rachmaninoff. I hope you enjoy it.
That was Sergio Rachmaninoff's vocalese, and I wish, I hope this piece will bring some comfort, some healing to um, some people. The next piece is totally different. This piece is called Tico Tico Nanfuba. It's a Brazilian piece composed by Brazilian songwriter. His name is, if I can say it right, Sakunem da Abru. <laughs> That was Tico Tico Nanfuba. The next piece, actually, I steal it from Zoe. Um, after I hear her singing this piece called Kura Road by Jir Wolf. It's such a beautiful piece. And also because the, the piece is set in pentatonic scale, which is more like a Chinese traditional scale. And it really resonates with my background, with my heritage. Um, so with permission from Zoe, I transpose it to the cello. And here is Kura wrote. Thank you. 
So we're here at the Carlingford Heritage Centre and uh, we've just been uplifted by the wonderful music of Yue Tang here and Brian Connor. Um, and we're so delighted to be able to invite musicians like this here. And we'd like to say thanks very much to the Duncairn Art Centre for helping us to get all of this off the ground and to create lives as well. Um, and we just wanted to have a chat with some of the musicians and uh, you know see how they're feeling at this time in COVID-19. And um, I'm going to start with Brian Connor. Um, who I've known for many years. We, we played together in Riverdance and also as part of the RTE Concert Orchestra nice. on some wonderful concerts. Yeah. And I just wanted to ask you, um, how did you get into playing the piano or why, did, why were you drawn to that instrument? Uh, it happened very naturally. When I was about four, we moved into a house that had a piano, piano in it. Mm -hmm. uh, I just started to play and I'm still playing. And it's the only thing that makes sense. I sort of understand what's in front of me when it's a piano, but nothing else. <laughs> and I know, like you're, you love loads of different styles of music, and I suppose that's really yeah. useful, isn't it, for piano players? Well, yeah, it's that's been lovely, and piano's a, a, an instrument that lends itself to that because it can cover everything: harmony and melody and accompaniment and rhythm. It's all there in front of you, so you can find a role in so many different places. Particularly harmonically, I love, I love the harmonic life of a, of a piano. Mm -hmm. You can always find it a little surprising you know, colour to throw in somewhere. And I suppose that maybe brought you on to, I know that you do arrangements and compositions. And loads, like things. Of, loads of arranging now, actually, which mm. I, I love doing that. I used to tour a lot and I was performing pretty much all the time and that was great. And then I stopped doing all that travelling and settled completely in Ireland. And somehow I seem to have got very lucky in that now I, I get a lot of orchestration work and I can stay at home, work at home, work in different styles, and do a lot of writing for musicians like, like this. Actually, a lot of musicians in the RTE concert orchestra, I'm not a member of the orchestra, as you know. <laughs> as I now know. <laughs> <laughs> and you is also mm. in the orchestra, aren't you? Yes, for the past, past 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. And uh, we actually did a tour um, in yeah. China with yeah. the RTE concert orchestra. I was very honoured to be part of well, That was it. wonderful. It yeah, was wonderful. wonderful. You. I think the audience really loves you oh, no. in China, yes. Yeah. And the whole Irish concert, I suppose. And Absolutely. I was lucky yeah. because you, uh, mm -hmm. um, being from China, you were able to kind of bring us to different places and yes, organise yes. lovely meals and everything. Uh, we had a great time. Yeah, I have to be the host. Yeah, yeah. I think <laughs> I have to have been it. It was really a lovely time, and uh, I think all the story is really re well received. Yeah. And everybody have a good time, good shopping, good food, everything. Yeah. Yeah. It turned out really nice. Yeah. What well, uh, times are changed now, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. I think everybody experienced something really strange, really kind of um, unprecedented. Um, I think for musicians, the challenge is like we we need to uh, communicate with people <clears throat> through music. We need to have human interaction. You know, we are, um, even some people are not very sociable, but maybe but when they still need to play with other mu music, musicians. And I think the past um, 
uh, five, six months is very challenging. Uh, through all this video we do online, it's just not the same. Yeah. I noticed that today because you guys are the first performance that we've seen <laughs> since <laughs> lockdown. So it's just like, oh my God, yes, it's, so it's such a pleasure. absolutely beautiful. It's such yeah. a pleasure to be here and to have this treat. Yeah. Basically, we talk about you. Know, we've been on this diet or this fasting for the past five months <laughs> yeah. and we're all this kind of <laughs> yeah. eager and desire to to play, to make music. Uh, and I think it it's really shows how much you really do um, value you, you, yeah. you, your career. And this is such a calling. And then, as Brian says, it's a, it's a purpose of life. So in a way, it's very fortunate to realize that. We'd like to say thanks very much to yourself, Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank and you. to Brian for coming all the way to Carlingford oh, thanks for and joining us, us today. That looks great. <laughs> the next piece, I'm going to play a cello solo piece by Johann Sebastian Bach. This is his Bray from the third cello suite. <laughs> Thank you. 
Well, I'm here outside the Heritage Centre with Ray Giffen from the Duncairn Arts Centre in Belfast. Um, Ray, could you tell me about your goal in San Duncairn and your name? Well, I can tell you about the Ruddy Inta Jackrachta, Marial, and Covid, and um, I'm an ice jack in a, in a Wilmidgeonese, so um, really, really difficult yeah. as is the whole art scene and music scene for everyone across the island and across the world at the moment you know so we're no different than anyone else i know and i know like once the kind of lockdown happened mm -hmm. i have to say that you guys were the first people to kind of come together and try to put something on for artists to try yeah. to get you know something happening even mm -hmm. though there may not be concerts mm -hmm. well i i think that the whole ethos of the, of the center was to go beyond artist and booking agent or promoter yeah. and it was to establish friendships and networks and uh, bonds between the artist and ourselves so we look at everyone that's graced our stage and um, blessed us with yeah. performance in North Belfast as friends so when a friend's in trouble to me it's good human nature to try and come um, to their assistance so we've seen that people's livelihoods were just snatched away overnight so um, we immediately thought, well, how can we help? And we came up with the concept of the virtual cabaret. I know, and it was absolutely fantastic. I mean, we actually took part, Indeed. myself and John, in mm -hmm. the cabaret, but I think originally there were 40 artists, isn't that right? The plan was that we thought we could raise a certain amount. We set ourselves a target um, to help 40 artists and maybe provide them with £100 or so, I think was the deal at the time. Um, but the thing took a life of its own in terms of people engaging with it, people supporting it, but also the amount of artists that were willing to contribute yes. um, to it. So in the end, um, we ended up with 121 um, artists partaking, artists. and it gave us great pleasure to be able to help these people out. And we raised over 25,000 pounds. That's incredible. And the whole pot was divided equally among each participant. So That's absolutely yeah, it was a great incredible. thing, and it was nice for our part of the city to have that kind of. Um, credit I know. For, for doing that and I also think that it resonated very very warmly with the artistic and creative community across the island and in fact it actually resonated with the audience yes. because the people were all at home we were told yeah. to stay at home stay within your two kilometer yeah. radius or uh -huh. whatever you know and yeah. people were just so happy that that was brought into their homes in the evenings did you did you think that we did you know we realized and just given the time of year um, that it happened you know things we hadn't really delved into the summer bright nights yet yes. and there was this horrific challenge faced right across all of society yeah. and we thought well you know we love our artists our artists are optimistic you know they bring pleasure to people and that's what the community need yeah. at the, the, this time and I mean as I said it snowballed not only did it um, spread from a local North Belfast context but right across Ireland England, Europe, and even into South America and North America. It was incredible, yeah. an incredible success. An incredible success. Mm -hmm. And now we've kind of decided in Carlingford mm -hmm. here to try and partner with yourselves yes. in the Duncairn. And to, uh, we normally do our summer series mm -hmm. here every year. And because of the restrictions, we mm -hmm. felt that it maybe wasn't the right time to start bringing an audience mm -hmm. back in yet. Mm -hmm. um, so we kind of come up with this collaboration idea mm -hmm. that we could invite artists from both sides of the border yeah. to kind of share a bit of music. And, and like like we said in the, in the um, cabaret, mm -hmm. that we would bring music into people's homes. Into people's homes. But I think like... Um, speaking personally for a moment, you know, I come and I've attended many fantastic um, Sundays here with yourself and John and yeah. a wonderful selection of musicians. And I thought there was a real resonance and commonality between the two organisations, given that they're both very rooted in community. They are both former churches and they embrace and promote and showcase some of the finest talent we have on the island. So we always got a good feel when we come down. Yes. Um, to Carlingford and we didn't think it was possible but that has been even exceeded over this past couple of days the hospitality the welcome that sense of friendship and the bond growing between the two organizations I think is very very important and as we move forward I think that partnerships and collaborations and more working um, in a collective spirit is going to be essential to the arts riding out this storm That's which right. I'm confident that it will do yeah. because it's an essential part of people's lives. It impacts on so many lives, on so many untold and unpublicised levels. I think that was also one of the incredible things that so many people 
turn to the arts and music and the creative sector during this dark and challenging time. And I think that's testament to the power of what it is you incredible people do. And I think that although these times are challenging, that there's enough imagination, goodwill, energy and positivity that we'll all get through it. We'll and hopefully together. that this is a growing partnership yeah. and we can build and develop and hopefully involve others as well. Yeah. I think that would be a great a great achievement for both the Heritage Centre here in Carlingford and the Dunkern Centre back in Belfast. And thank you for having us down. We have had a ball. Oh, thanks very and looking much. looking forward to editing this programme and letting people enjoy, enjoy um, what we've produced. Well, thanks very much, You're Ray. Very it's a pleasure to chat to you. And you too, Zoe. Thank you very much. Oh, Bonnie Portmore You shine where you stand And Such a woeful destruction of your ornament tree. For it stood on your shores for many a long day. Till the long boats from Antrim came to If I could once more 
take you down by the flowing river if I could once more hold you I met her on a Sunday night I stopped to gaze when she came into sight She smiled to me and then I knew She cast her loving spell And even though the years have passed My love for her has never ceased to last And soon I know she'll come If I could once more take you down by the flowing river, if I could once more hold you, my love, all the beauty of the forest, it can't compare to you. If I could once more hold you. Remembering her golden hair The autumn winds were rolling in the air We walked beside the silver stream I held her gentle hand We're going to do a a Belfast song now, um, and uh, it's a, a song written, quite an old song written about uh, the great Henry Joy McCracken. So uh, this, the song is called Henry Joy. And although I labour by the sea, I follow fife and drum. I have heard the tramp of marching men, I saw them fall and die. And as I do remember well when I follow. I pulled my boat up from the shore And I hid my sails away I flung my nets upon the tree And I scanned the moonlit bray I kissed my wife and children dear A fun and last goodbye Of the greenwood glade, I followed Henry Joy. It was for Ireland's. 
Cause we fought for our home and sire we bled Though our pikes were few, our hearts be true And five to one they did And many's the last she lost her lad And mother mourned her boy In the gallant throng that had followed Henry in joy. They built a tree and the red coats mustered there. I watched him come as the sound of a drum rolled out through the barrack square. He kissed his sister and went aloft. He waved a fond goodbye. Ah. I turned and I cried, they have murdered Henry Joy. So the next song is uh, another song that, that I wrote uh, about the place that I live, uh, uh, sort of down in Tur- County Tyrone, where myself and Rachel are, are both from. Um, so uh, it's a song called Sweet Loch Ne.
the sun has fallen down behind the proud high hill, and the cuckoo rests until the morning when there dawns another day. From the banks of black water, there your sight. Or bright blue ocean holds the beauty of sweet love. So it's great to be back in the Dunkern for the uh, Carlingford uh, Summer Series. And uh, yeah, just want to uh, wish Ray and Zoe all the best of luck with it. Uh, we're going to finish off here with a, a song called The Wee Weaver. I am a wee weaver Confined to My love is as fair as the red rose in June. She is loved by all lovers, which does anger me. For my heart's in the bosom of lovely men. As men Shady bar where Mary and Willie spend many an hour. Where the thrush and the blackbird they do join in chorus, sing the praises of Mary round the loch and shore.
Thanks everyone for joining us here for a bit of music and crack from Carlingford Heritage Centre and the Duncairn Arts Centre in Belfast. And I hope you're enjoying the music and the bit of crack. Um, we're going to play a tune for you now that we composed together. This is one called Eilach Namuk. And uh, that means the pass of the dolphin or the way of the dolphin. And uh, we actually were inspired to write this piece after seeing dolphins last year on the West Coast um, as we were traveling um, around different music festivals and having a great time to and uh, actually since we wrote this um, there has been a resident dolphin has come to live in Carlingford Loch so it's one of those ways that life imitates art um, so we'll give this one a go Eilach Namuk Um, so this song is called Fwishiv Ayodze, um, which means I will find solace. And it talks about walking along the beach morning and evening and being amongst, amongst your own people and finding solace there. Um, so very beautiful words by Marcin O'Diron. I hope you like it.
Tom would you go the new three party of shit in this? Shall Tom Belize the Jig of Slurs, August the Blarney Pilgrim?
Speaker Mahagiv. Well, um, we're going to finish our set uh, with two pieces. The first one was composed by Robert Matheson. It's a brilliant piping tune called Desert Storm. And the second one is one that I composed, inspired by the fiddle playing of Donegal, which I love. Um, and this is one called Rounding Malinhead. Um, we'd like to say a big thank you to everyone involved in this whole project, um, to the whole team at Duncairn for coming along to film us here in Carlingford Heritage Centre, and to Ray at the Duncairn, and to Create Louth as well. So Gurmila Maya Giv and I will chat to you soon. This is Desert Storm and Rounding Malinhead. Well, thank you for joining us on our special collaboration here with the Carlingford Heritage Centre down in County Louth and of course the amazing Zoe Conway and John McIntyre and all of the musicians who participated. We will be back next week and the week after on Sunday at 7pm so make sure to join us here from the Duncairn Centre and the Carlingford Heritage Centre. So until then, all the best and goodbye. 
Thanks so much for joining us for the Carlingford Heritage Centre and Duncairn Arts Centre Summer Series 2020. I hope you've enjoyed the music and crack. And I'm sure I speak for all the artists when I say I hope to see you on the road again soon. Slán agus bánacht. If we should 